Hey everyone, it's Mark Skipper Mark. Last weekend, Matt winterized our Wave Runners, but Call of Duty had just come out and I really wanted to play it, so Nancy graciously recorded it so I didn't have to. The manual doesn't specifically mention winterizing, it just says if you're going to store it for an extended period to fill the gas tank full and put some fuel stabilizer in it. When Matt got gas the last time, he filled the tanks full and put fuel stabilizer in it. We use the Stabil brand and get it from Walmart. So when we had our bass boat, another thing that we did was we put fogging oil into the engine cylinders. That's a good idea to do. It's basically oil, but it just keeps the engine from getting corroded in there in the cylinders. And also we put antifreeze in. Now the antifreeze that we use is RV antifreeze. It's not antifreeze that you put into an engine when it's running. It's what you would put into a drinking water system in a boat or in an RV. And we use that instead of the traditional type of antifreeze that you know you put in your car radiator. If you have any questions about what we've done, please leave a message in the comments and I'll be happy to answer as best I can. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. So Matt wasn't sure how to get the antifreeze into the engine, so he rigged up this cool device. It's a Poland spring water bottle attached to the flush kit for the Wave Runners. It did drip a little bit out the bottle, but I thought it was a pretty good idea. All right, Matt is winterizing the Wave Runners. He attached the flusher hose, and he's going to be pouring in the coolant. You want to make sure it's coming out the back. We pause a little bit in between to make sure the engine doesn't overheat. The next step is to take off this cover and spray fogging oil in the intake. Air filter? Looking good? You don't have to take it off, it just came off. <laughs> Can't really see in there or get in there too easily with the cover, but he's spraying the fogging oil. It was hard to get a picture of where he was spraying the fogger, but he sprayed it into the intake. It's down far underneath this cover and very hard to get a picture of it. All right, he's removing plugs so he can take out the spark plugs. And then after he takes them out, he's going to spray some fogging oil in there also. So you have to remove screws so you can get in there to remove the plugs. This is the ignition coil. Now you have to take out the ignition coils so you can get to the spark plug underneath. All right, he's got a spark plug remover. Take the spark plug out. He 
he's loosening it up if it doesn't come out with the tool he puts in the coil and pulls it out that way because they're too skinny to come out with this tool like it doesn't grab the body of the spark plug so i just grab it out with that. and they're out now he's spraying fogging oil into the spark plug area just a little bit And then you put the spark plug back in. All four of them. Three. Oh, sorry. Three of them. Tighten them up. How tight do you go? Just until it stops? Barely snug. After you have all the spark plugs in, you have to put the coils back on. They just slide right in. Line up the holes to put the screws in. Now you want to tighten up the screws, just to snug them up. Don't have to go crazy. And then plug them back in. Next thing we're going to do is take out the battery. Can't really see the battery too easily, but it's down in there. So it was a little difficult to record because it's tight spaces in there, but I hope at least a little bit of the info is beneficial to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.